All right, again, I am live with my guy, Emmanuel Ford. First of all, congratulations, my <laughs> country boy. Welcome to the family. Uh -huh. And before we get into the future yeah. and, and, and the pros, mm -hmm. take us back to college. You played with a special coach in Mike's Leach. Uh -huh. Give us a story or two. <laughs> uh, I would say after we lost to Alabama, uh, that next team meeting, he brought in a book and it was like the little engine that could and he read that out literally L literally read it out five times in a row and like asking questions about it so then the following week we walk in the locker room on tuesdays we got a, a thing that said a little engine that could i wish i could. wait what what's what it saying <laughs> i think i, I, I can i, I think, think i can, I can. and we, it was all on everybody locker so then we get a shirt made that we had to wear during a dog walk that yeah, it was a train with smoke, and it said, "I think I can't could." So what? What, what Jedi mind tricks is he trying to play with y'all? Because y'all, because y'all lost that game, or was he just trying to rebuild y'all confidence at the time? I, I think he said it was because we didn't think we could win a game. So okay, I mean, that, that just makes me feel good. <laughs> every, every time you say where I come from, Mississippi State. <laughs> now, now they talked about our weight. When I say our weight, I was 170 odd pounds. They talked about it to me, and I said, you know what? I need to figure out a way my self person to gain a little weight and uh -huh. i wasn't really hooked on gaining weight uh -huh. i was hooked on getting stronger uh -huh. so I, I i found i got with the screen coach and i found some stuff that i could do in the weight room have you thought about anything in the weight room you want to do because i always felt like my arms was too long to bench yeah like anytime i would bench i would bench less than the other guy uh -huh. so i started doing a lot of curls i started doing a lot of natural push-ups have you even thought that far down like you know it's something i need to do and something i need to work on yeah uh i once oh coach told me what he used to do and he he was my size coming in the league mm -hmm. just like what helped him out he used to work out before practice and after practice mm -hmm. every day and just keeping his strength and just it helped them gain weight and yeah. i'm still young and he was just like it'll come but it just that's something i'm gonna do and plan on doing i got two more things for you that's gonna help you when you cash that check you're gonna start eating steaks and weights. <laughs> them the two things you need to worry about. Uh -huh. Now, let me ask you this, because we all got people who we paired in our game out there. When I was coming out of, of Mississippi State, the mm -hmm. only reason I wore number two is because of Deion Sanders. I wore the same number in high school. Uh -huh. I literally patterned my game after him. Uh -huh. Who was the cornerback? College, pros, don't matter. That a man you for say, you know what, I, gotta, I, I want to litter his game inside of my game. Uh, I used to, when I was high school i used to watch a little bit of jalen ramsey it's my dog I know long, long tall long, cornerback similar yeah. to the same uh -huh. what parts of his game do you want to bring to your game now that you're in the league just the physicality honestly he's physical he know how to use his body he yeah know how to move with his body and just physical so something i plan on doing all right and physicality i like that you brought that up uh -huh. what's a part of your game that people never talk about that you like you know what do y'all actually see me out here yeah. doing this what part of your game is that I'm just, uh, yeah, my size don't tell it, but I'm physical and I can tackle. I had 140 some tackles in three years at cornerback. Oh, the number speak for yourself. You ain't got to explain to me. You need to be telling them. The non-believers, like I tell them all the time, <laughs> most definitely I know that's what you really want to show them. And you're smart because I've watched you and you do the same thing similar that I did in college uh -huh. where but I'm going to get you before you get started. Yeah. I'm going to study the film enough to know when you run into my side because you know as a skinnier cornerback, the first thing they want to do is not throw the outside. They want to run, run the they outside. To... So what happens if we play in Tennessee and the Titans and here come Derrick Henry? Now, you know he's 250 <laughs> pounds worth of man. How do you get him down? Do you got a plan already? You set the tone. You know, just go in there, shoot and shot. So I ain't scared to tackle. That's what I got to do. Shoot now, that's shot. easier said than done, because I had somebody comparable to him, Brandon Jacobs. I don't know if you watched him play, <laughs> but he was huge, he 290 was. pounds. Mm -hmm. And I had to go back and forth the wall with this guy, time <laughs> after time. And it wasn't that tackling him, I couldn't get him on the ground. Uh -huh. It's just that I had to go the next play mm -hmm. and play cornerback and then run with wide receivers. Uh -huh. Now, what part of your game do you got to work on strength ride i know you got the speed to yeah. do it what what's gonna help you play those four quarters now instead of you know just going out there shutting people down like you did at mississippi state some yeah. guys challenge you but now in the league every week it's gonna be a challenge yeah just like going in the game knowing that these guys are the best player on their college team it's the best of the best and just honestly it's mental just being locked in every play yeah knowing yeah. that knowing that i can get beat or anything having like 
No, yeah. you, this is the one thing I can promise you as a corner. Mm-hmm. We gonna get beat. Yeah. Like now, the thing is, what are you gonna do? You can get beat. I what think you gonna do after you get beat? And that's what I'm and saying. And we talked a little bit before here, hand about the mm-hmm. coverages you played mm-hmm. in Mississippi State. Uh-huh. And I came out. I only played man to man most of the time. So when I did get to the league, I was eager to learn how to play cover two. Mm-hmm. You told me. Defense coordinator basically challenge y'all to play everything from zero, cover four, cover two, quarter, quarter, half. You have done it all. Yeah. Do you think that's going to help you have to learn the defenses that we got here with Jack Del Rio? Honestly, I've been in the playbook, been watching film, and it's like literally the same thing. Only thing different is the terminology. So I feel like it, it being at Mississippi State helped me for this defense here. Hey, brother. Thank you. Another good interview. <laughs> and, and then we got a phrase. I got my phrase for you. Uh-huh. And you know my phrase for you. They can't poke holes in your game. And they try to poke holes in your way. frame. Yeah. And I understand <laughs> it. So don't worry about it. Thank you, brother. Nice yes, interview. Sir. Yes, sir.